Hey guys, what is up today? I wanted to show some of the new features included in iOS 7 Beta 5, which was just released for developers today. So all these features or most likely will be available in the final release of iOS 7 when it comes out. So uh, we're just getting a look early. So one of the first changes that I noticed in, in iOS 7, I believe this wasn't included in all the other betas, is the option to create a passcode while you're starting your device. So if you set up your device as a new device along with connecting to Wi-Fi network uh, and all those other steps, it prompts you to uh, create a passcode. Now you can skip this, but you can just see that they're uh, putting more emphasis on having a passcode for your device. So the first thing you'll probably notice when uh, using this fifth beta is that in the settings application the icons on the left are now colored and they're a little different than they were previously as like blue outlines. So that's a pretty big change. Another change that caught my eye is when you turn your device off there's a slightly different power down where when you slide to the right it sort of fades out the whole screen and it's completely different than it used to be so that's uh, definitely cool. A new option that was added is on off labels so you can see uh, the demo one right here already has it where it says off right there with a little O and then there's an I uh, or a line when it's on so uh, once you apply the setting it applies to all the other tabs around the operating system so uh, they act accordingly. Now on the fifth beta pretty much everything about the operating system is way more smooth especially experienced on an iPod Touch fifth generation like I have right now. Something that you will notice is when you slide up to take a photo uh, it's way more fluid and has a, a nice transition. And the next really small change is when you scroll down into Notification Center, go to Today, scroll down you can see the branding for Yahoo has changed. In addition, on the settings page, when you hit Control Center, you can disable it within apps by uh, unchecking the access within apps. Now, this allows for games where you need to scroll up and down, and it might get mistakenly opened in the middle. And if you ever have that problem, you can always just go into the settings and turn it off like I just did. Now another super small change is that you used to be able to with the up button take a photo and you can now but you can additionally do it with the down button as well. Another change is the UI for calling and FaceTime audio is changed a little bit like uh, differently like you can see right here with the four circles uh, and the new look. And if you missed it from the past beta, when you download an application, it has a little bit of a different animation. As you can see right here with the Instagram downloading, you see sort of a circle form, and then uh, it unravels. And then once it's done, you can open the application, but it's just a bunch of new fancy UI changes. And that's pretty much uh, all the changes that have been made uh, in the fifth beta. If you like this video and found it helpful uh, for you, hit that thumbs up button. As always, if you comment iPod Touch, you'll have a chance to win a new iPod Touch uh, that we give out every once in a while. So, I'll see you guys later.